Hey guys, this is Downs from Brunel, and today I'm going to teach you how to have your cake and eat it too when it comes to fish conditioning. So stay tuned. Okay, so what I wanted to show you today, guys, is how to keep your hands from getting all scratched up and scuffed up, okay, when, especially when you're going bare knuckle on the bags. Now, a lot of times, especially guys that are starting to hit bare knuckle, um, they don't you know, know how to do it properly or they, they kind of go overboard and they start cracking their knuckles and they start making them bleed, you know, because they're hitting the bags so hard and too much and they start getting red and they start, you know, getting cut and, and, and cracked open, you know, they get all scarred, scarred up pretty easily. So, I'm going to give you a tip on how to fix that or at least get yourself conditions for it so that that way when you, you know, start hitting the bag and everything, you know, start breaking your hands open and then you have to kind of like take, you know, two steps forward, three steps back, that kind of thing. You don't want that. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that without having to worry about, you know, slowing yourself and your progress down when you're, when you're learning how to hit bare knuckle. Okay, so what I've done is, first of all, let the, you know, give thanks to um, Bob Orlando. He's the one that taught me how to use this, this technique here, and I showed it how to do it, and so that's, the, that's where I learned it from. All right, so got to give him respect for that. So what you do, guys, is you go to, like, any hardware store, and you pick up a pair of gardening gloves, okay? Good old gardening gloves. Soft, you know, buckskin, and it has a, a, what I've done is I've turned it inside, inside out. They're like anywhere from nine to twelve dollars for the gloves, you know? And so what I do is, I just turn the soft part, turn it inside out, and the suede, and where, where all the stitching is on the outside, okay? So that way, when I put them on, it's nice and soft on the inside, and it all the stitch and everything on the outside, okay? So then when you start hitting the bag, you know, you're not gonna hurt your hands. It's still, you know, bare knuckle, still has the same feeling of bare knuckle. The only difference is that you're not gonna get your hands and knuckles all scraped up if you miss or start sliding on the bag, you know, or any, any of the apparatus that you're gonna use, and whether it's focus gloves, tie pads, maze bag, or, you know, um, tie bags. So this way, when you're striking, you can still go hard, you know, you can still get the feeling, you still can adjust your knuckles, you can pretty much know where you're supposed to be landing, and you can tell by the direction of your fist when you're hitting some target where they're supposed to be, and you can tell when, it, when it's not right, or when it is right, you know, by wearing these gloves. And this way, you don't hurt your hands, and again, you can still condition your fists without cracking them and hurting them really badly, okay? So, to me, this is a very good uh, tip to use when you're strengthening up your hands. So try this out and see what you think. Again, go to the uh, hardware store. Any hardware store has, you know, gardening gloves. And then use them. Like I said, turn them inside out, okay? And then put it on so the suede is on the outside and all the stitches on the outside. And the nice soft leather is on the inside, covers your hand, okay? Also too, if you're bare knuckle, you know, get used to, you're used to striking like that and your hands are a little bit rough and you don't want it to start cracking and everything, again, get these gloves, put them on, and just, you know, train a couple of rounds or a couple of workouts with the gloves on until your hands start, start healing up and get a little bit more softer and more conditioned, okay? So, you, again, you don't want to crack your knuckle because if you crack them, then you got to wait till they heal up, and it takes a long time to heal a cracked knuckle, you know, because every time you bend your fingers, you know, it breaks the scab and it starts bleeding again, and it's just really frustrating. So, again, using these gloves will go a long way to keep you from getting frustrated when you're training on the backs, all right? So, again, Get these gloves and try them out and see what you think. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. It was a quick video. I just wanted to give you that tip on how to use these gloves, you know. Uh, some guys have asked me what kind of gloves I use, whether it's MMA gloves or boxing gloves or, you know, bag gloves. And so, well, those are, you know, they work and everything. They're good. They have their specific purposes and everything. These gloves are the ones I always use when I'm training, you know, because I don't want to, you know, I want to hurt my hands and scrape them all up, but at the same time, I want to have them conditioned for being able to hit bare knuckle, okay? So, again, get the pair, get yourself a pair, work up with them, try them out, and see what you think. I'm telling you, you're going to have a great workout using these gloves, you know. People want to see you, you know, say, what are you doing, you know, how come you want to wear uh, bag gloves or this, that, and you just let them know you're, you're training for bare knuckle, you know, and these gloves are the ones you're going to use for bare knuckle, all right? So, until next time, this is Daniel Sombrano saying, don't just hit them, Punch a hole through. Take care, and we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.